Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for episode 23, the season finale of Friends Season 2. God damn it. Let's not waste time. <laughs> Let's get to it. Excuse me, sir. I, I didn't realize. It's quite all right. I believe a friend of mine is being treated here. What's the patient's name, please? <laughs> sir? You go. I'll buy you some time. You find Walter. I'll meet you in the parking lot. I'm sorry. A misunderstanding. He's a big deal over here, apparently. I'm sorry. You didn't want to say it out loud, though. That's interesting. Give me a second. Side arms. I designed those, you know. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Velvet. We the have 76 to... models don't have the phase repeat. This is That's awkward. <laughs> Walter. Julia. It's you, isn't it? Yes, Walter. Prove it. Come on, Walter. We don't have time for this. Oh, yes, it is you. That's right. <laughs> I, I, come here. They have absolutely fabulous drugs here, Olivia. Mm -hmm. I, I feel great. Oh, and look. Accelerated healing techniques. It, it, it's miraculous. Okay, come on, Walter. Bell's waiting for us. Billy's here? Yes, yes, he is. It's nice of him to finally show up. Shit. Did she take it? Hello, William. Walter? I see you've aged. It appears I'm not the only one. Get in, Walter. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey. You okay? Looks like you just saw a ghost. You remind me of somebody I know. But your hair is different. I think I like yours better. Oh, Just excuse us, please, Peter. Stop it. I need to speak to Agent Dunham. I'll be out in a moment to show you around. Which means we are fugitives. Double breaded, big crunch, so good. It's just like an outside. It's Wednesday, 1983, and I happen to identify the last of the 11 secret herbs and spices. <laughs> okay. Be careful. This episode's fantastic. We've accomplished a lot together, Walter. Uh huh? But she may be our greatest achievement. Mm. I like them together. I love how Billy treats it like, oh, stop whining about fucking being locked in a fucking nut house. Not like it is here. Just slightly different. Red lantern or red arrow, it's hilarious. Subtle. Yes, yeah, Walter. I'm afraid you are. Jesus. to put on one person, especially somebody like fucking Walter. Built for this world, uh, for profit. As a byproduct, yes. Let's remember, the only reason I came back over here was to prevent a war. It's to stop a chain of events set into motion the day you stole Peter. A little truth, if you please. You'd say you want to prevent the war while you quietly fuel it. I know that you helped craft the shapeshifters. Your design signature is all over it. I have little choice. Oh, shit. It started. I fucking hate Bell. Holy shit. Live. Is that what this is about? Please, I need to speak to him. 
You gotta trust me. Uh, I'm you. Don't think so. You haven't answered my question. What question? Will you help me? No, look at her face. Okay. okay. I'll live. You keep your backup gun in your purse, don't you? Uh -huh. Keep mine in my jacket. Ha 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 ha! Damn it, man! You know, I don't know what you are, but you are nothing like me. You know, he was right. Call Fringe. This is done. Woo! <laughs> Stupid boyfriend's gonna There's find nothing her. wrong. He wants you to know that your friends are here and that they have come to keep you safe. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Peter, it's me. Thanks. I think I just figured that out. <laughs> you lied to me. You have to come back. Because you belong with me. Oh, that's beautiful. It's so sweet and all, but you do have problems. This is slightly awkward. Hello, Peter. I'm William Bell. Haven't seen you in many years. We're holding up better than I would have thought. What's a little universe hopping between friends? That's not what I meant. Okay, so what do we do? What the fuck did he mean? Oh my god, now what? I supplied Friends Division with a 76 model. Holy shit. 77? They're prototypes, they could be unstable. Well, what do you mean unstable? Just try not to jostle them. He looks pretty cool in the field, actually. Me. It's the jacket, it's how calm he is. Oh my god. What happened? <sighs> that is not our live. Yeah. Oh shit. I used a grenade. I think I bought us a few minutes. Come on. How many people did she just kill? That's not our live. I'm calling it. We're thinking you're smarter than Walter. Me. I will be the power. I've traveled between universes so many times. My atoms are ready to split apart with the slightest provocation. You taught me there are as many atoms in the human body as there are stars in the sky. You always were as stubborn as a donkey with a nail in his head. <laughs> Order start the sequence. How would you know about the grenades? I'm bugging. Don't mind me. Wrong. <laughs> you asked me why I took out part of your brain. I did it because you asked me to. Because of what you were becoming. What? What? Welcome back. Walter's amazing. I love 
water. You did cross universes twice to save my life. So that's got to count for something, right? Thank you, Peter. My son. Help you, gorgeous? I hope so. I'm looking for a typewriter. All right! Alright, that was episode 23 of Fringe Season 2, where to begin. That is what we call a fantastic finale, first and foremostly. Because number one, it, it, it wrapped up enough to where I felt satisfied. But clearly, left you with just a fuck ton of questions. Um... Wanting to see a lot more. Olivia is trapped on the other side, and it looks like solitary confinement by the secretary. I assume that's what they were in their ears about the uh, change of plans. Um, fuck. Um, other Olive, other Olive is now infiltrated our Earth. She's a soldier. She left her boyfriend behind, just left everything behind, just to fucking infiltrate. All right. Um, Peter and Walter are still not good, but Peter's trying. He's doing what he can. I don't know if I was actually me and Peter could be cool anymore. Like, you don't fuck with me at all. You just left. Man, fuck you. And you can't have no cake. Um, I love that episode. Walter is very quick. I'm going to say as of the moment, he's in the top. I don't know where it was before, but he's climbed several spots. Finding out that he had his own memories removed. Just to make himself, he didn't like who he's becoming. He wanted to become a better person. He had his own memories removed. That is fucking beautiful, preposterous, and I love him for it. I kept wanting him to get his memories back. Not because I thought it would turn evil, but because he just seemed like, you know, a little more vicious. Not evil, like when he was in a chair. And, uh, I forgot the guy's name. William Bell's right hand, the one that brought him over on the bridge. Uh, not William Bell's. Walton at Peter's right hand, the one that brought him over the bridge. He, um, when he had him in a chair, our Walter, it just felt like Walter was a little more, I don't know, Urgh. Like, now I never want to get him back. I love this, Walter. With all my soul. Um, it was nice to see Charlie again. Again, even in an alternate universe, we don't get enough royals. Um, I really liked that episode. As two parts, that was, a fan that was a really good movie. And one part split up. That was a good episode and a great episode. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 